Hey guys, welcome to my video. Today in this video we will model this part. It looks a very simple part, but I will show you very nice commands along the way. Let's start. I open a new part and I start to create a sketch. On the top plane, I will create a sketch. I pick a line, come to the point back, hit my cursor and then I get an arc. Here I have a line again. If I come to the point back, I will get an arc again. So we will continue this way. Same operation here. Okay, yes, we have it. And then something like this. Let's give some dimensions now. Here I have 1.55. Here I have another 1.55. And dimensions from here to here will be 52 total length will be 72 I think you're gonna ask me now how I give these dimensions from uh, outer side of the circle simply sh shift should be pressed that's the trick and then I will give this height 13 and a half and it looks good we made everything blue, uh, black except this point. So it st still travels. I pick two point and I made vertical. So to help me along the way, I need to add here to construction geometry when I'm aligning my sketches here. And I will close this. Front plane, I will open the sketch. We look normal to. I create here a line and then I create some group of lines again but I just want them to be not very uh, assigning themselves some uh, relations for example like this I make parallel I don't want that I'm trying to not do that and at the end we will see something like this now we can select all of them we make them equal and after this operation, I will select this and I will say UB 075. And from here to here, I will put a line, construction geometry. This is to be to bring them in the same height, in fact, nothing more. But it's a convenient way of dealing things. And after this operation, I will assign here a center distance of six guys. That's it. Now I have here some blue uh, points. We can align, we can say constant here by using that sketch. Maybe you understand now why I add that uh, two point with the help of a uh, construction geometry. And then I will make those guys equal, everything black. Now some radius to select everything. And make a radius of 2. This looks good. Now I will create another sketch. Simply, in fact, it will be a copy of this guy. I convert entities. I do again for you. Select earlier one. New sketch open. Convert entities. And then look from normal. Hide the earlier one. I don't need these guys. They will be a bit changed. And I will select everything here. Linear sketch pattern. This distance will be 3. So I shift now here my original sketch. Tap it. And then I select black one, which belongs to original sketch. I will say it. You are becoming a construction geometry. The distance is half. To be able to compress paper, I will need these things. They will be shifted from each other. Hmm? Otherwise, it will not work. So, same idea. Length will be equal. And I will use these points. In fact, uh, for this one, a bit different, guys. Sorry. I made a mistake now. This length will be till here. Let's revise the sketch. 
add here some things and I added here a line what is uh, what is going to happen we select this one and the end here okay here we will end with this point as well yeah this this looks good okay what is the meaning of all these uh, things you want to think now we will start to work on top plane we create a sketch I would like to have those guys from here to here and here I think like was like this yes not this one those guys first we have this uh, copy from that original sketch let's hide it for a while and you see what I'm doing select this two project curve you got this okay now sketch one and sketch two I will need another side so but the rest of the uh, sketch front plane top plane I will create another sketch we select the other group of sketches yes this should be the one and convert entities we can hide the original and of course here we will need this guy to be able to trim the other unnecessary part yes one and two selected project curve you got this we can hide the unnecessary section at the end we have two curve we got this ni nice waviness you can deal with this differently also you can create sketches for each profile as sketches but this is a uh, more nicer way of dealing with the things and of course it's a choice I have two sketch two curve in fact not sketch I create here a 3D sketch so I can convert curve 1 and 2 with the convert entities and I can close the sketch and curve 1 and 2 combined we can still here create in fact a composite curves we took this curve that's also possible there is a lot of possibilities there is not only one good way there is always ways so 3d sketch is selected circular profile will be activated and I will say here diameter is 1.5 and then I will get this shape yes it is an interesting tutorial and uh, thanks for watching I hope you can benefit and uh, build it as I build it. Uh, see you in another video.